this video we're going to look at the update portion of CRUD, creating, retrieving, updating, and deleting records in a database. I make the assumptions that we have your project set up, lab 7 files uploaded to your web server, SQL, set up and functioning, and this will allow us to talk about updating records. Now, when we talk about updating records in a database, uh, how I approached it is we will be updating one record. We won't be updating all of them. So to hit this, to go directly to the update page, will give us an error right now. That's how I have this set up. So we can go back. How I have this set up is to do the actual update of a record you actually have to choose your record. So go to the Retrieve Records page, and if you notice, it'll display the record here, and in this column it says Update This Record. That's what we're going to do. Now let's look at the code. Once again, this is a two-step process. Get the information, and then process that. To me, updating a record is like creating a new record, but it's also like retrieving. So for the first step, update record, what we're going to do is, once again, we pull the ID number from the URL, give some feedback, then, based upon that number we pulled back, we build our SQL statement, so we select all fields from the table, where, and then now we match right here where ID equals dollar sign ID, if we look here, dollar sign ID is what we pulled from the URL here. That gives us that information. Then it'll display it here, so we're retrieving one record, but then we're going to insert it into a form like we did it on the create page. Now we'll go over to the page here, click update, and notice we're retrieving this information from the database but it also looks like a creating record form, and that's what it is. We're going to process it just like we created that record earlier. Now we can go in here, um, mint, and we'll put chocolate chip in here. Just change the name a little bit. We'll come over here, display our, we'll display the information in our database do a quick refresh, notice it says, still says min chip, I haven't clicked update this record. Click update this record, refresh, and now it's now saying mint chocolate chip. That's exactly what we want. So how did that happen? Well, we had the update record, we put everything in a form, we, cl we clicked on the button that said update this record, which then sent everything to this file. This file then pulls all the information from the form using a post. We create our SQL statement, and instead of doing a creating or retrieving, we're doing an update. What table are we doing it from? We're going to set the different values here. So name, once again, name is one of our columns to this value here, and we got that from the post statement, set the base, set the add-in, where ID equals what we pulled in from our form. So we can go through and actually update our records. Now, you may notice something I have going on here a little bit extra in here. I actually have these lines commented out here, but I have these in here for troubleshooting. If you're writing some code and you're having problems and it's airing out and you don't know where, what I usually do is I set up some sort of output. It doesn't, it's not going to make the final product, it doesn't make it look easy, but if you see that it gets through marker 1, marker 2, marker 3, marker 4, marker 5, it does marker 6, but it never makes marker 7. Somewhere there's a problem between 6 and 7. There's a problem with this statement. So I, when I was writing this code up, I was having some issues. 
And so I put these in here as a troubleshooting. If you don't comment them, they would appear over here that says marker one, marker two. It's just a form of debugging is what I have here. And that's what I have going on here. Now, once again, updating the record here, we, we retrieve information based upon the number ID number we're pulling from the URL will display that one record inside of a form, just like the create form. Once we have that information entered, we click the update this record button and it passes all the information to this form and then it processes it. It updates the existing record. So that is the update portion of CRUD. Thank you for watching.